Hello everybody. I miss you guys. I have to do a live real soon. I might do one tomorrow. It's uh, Monday evening here. So I thought we'd um, go through the comment section of um, Alexandra's latest vlog, which is this one, the bump update and the earthquake one. Let's go through a comment section because I haven't been through it. And then we are going to do a react to this one, which is my first Birkenstock. Oh, you, know, you know, that's that's got to be in a YouTube um, thing. I, when you buy your first Birkenstocks, you know, seriously, fuck's sake. Okay. So first comment is, <laughs> please get checked out for your blue lips. 1800. Oh my God. She probably just needed to take a few deep breaths. Oh, don't you fucking love the way they come to rescue her? Probably from the blueberries she bought the other day, hopefully. 1800. 18 minutes. So let's go into 18 minutes and see how blue her lips were. Oh, in that one, yeah, they were blue. No, oh, they're always blue. It's not just when she's eating fucking blueberries, seriously. Okay. Funny story. So that'll be. I don't have to hear her voice when I don't have to. Yeah, her, definitely her bottom lip is blue. Jesus. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so that was the first one. Oh my God, someone commented about her lips turning blue around 17 minutes. I saw it too. Kind of scary. Mm. Finally, people are catching on. I've only been saying it for for the whole fucking 10 months or oh, 8 months I've been doing this, whatever. No, eight, it's not even 8 months. Talk about exaggeration. <laughs> I think it's only been uh, December, January, February, March. What do you mean April? 4 months. <laughs> Probably just from eating the blueberries she bought the other day, hopefully, from this comment. Could you put the camera on eye, at eye level rather than so up high when you film? It feels like watching it from the ceiling. Yeah, it does. I feel like you're watching it from the moon. Uh, my sister had gastric bypass and she doesn't snack at all. Not one bit. Not being snarky. Just sharing her experience. She's a size 6 now and she was previously a size 24. Now that's fucking brilliant. I really don't get it. How in the world does she have a bypass and just stay obese? I'm waiting for surgery and in shock with how she didn't use this tool. How it did not physically change her. You're not the only one Marlene. My pediatrician told me don't bother putting shoes on babies until they can walk. I should be afraid... Oh, sorry, I would be afraid a child could fall into a toy basket like that while trying to reach inside. Well, that's true, but it might be a bit too high, the opening. Oh, I don't know. Actually, a really good point. Look at this idiot here. Real, real, real London. And they fall in and climb back out and call their parents to help them out. You're a fucking idiot. And what if they can't call their parents because their face is too stuffed into the, t um, the um, stuffed toy? Horrible basket. Exactly. Maybe don't leave your baby unsupervised or for peace broke from it. It's a choking hazard. Exactly. It's just a horrible basket all around. Uh, please. Hey girl, your lips are turning blue. Please talk with your doctor if you notice it too. It's related to blood pressure and high blood pressure sugar levels. Oh, sorry. High blood sugar levels. But she does need to raise it with her doctor. It's very obvious, especially if she has shortness of breath also. But she's thriving. Oh, yeah, real thriving. It's all muscle. No, because that's really dangerous. I don't listen and was put on a labetol three to four times a day. Ended up getting preeclampsia and I had perfect blood work to begin with too. No pre-existing conditions. Just big. I came here to say the same thing. I'm a respiratory therapist. Notice the blue lips immediately. Please consult your physician. Uh, and then this fucking idiot and all this is genuinely glowing. They've been bluish purple for so long. She doesn't care. Exactly. Wow, this is really interesting. Hopefully she sees these posts and checks with her doctor. Bluish lips, a breathing issue, pregnancy, brain or confusion and hearing issues last week. She's petrified about something happening to the baby. Hopefully she doesn't chalk this up to just being pregnant and address their symptoms with her doctor. I don't think she will. Uh, here's what happened to my mum when she was pregnant with me and I was born... At six months because of it. Fuck. Is it true about your pops? The underage thing or what? 
Uh, yes, the underage thing. I saw some talk about it lately and then a post on Reddit. I'm glad that's coming out. People should know. And people should know that she's still talking to him. Tip with the egg bites. No, not into it. Be weird, hard to see. It's very weird. Sorry, it's very hard for the TTC people because on the other platforms you seem to... You seem to flaunt it and on here act very different. Exactly. Exactly. Just saying, show the compassion always. You mean the one where she says fuck no to everyone? She's classy, huh? Yeah, extremely classy. Chrissy Sue. <laughs> then likes to take a shit in Target. Oh, Target videos. Priscilla P videos. She's honest. Oh, thank you, Chrissy Sue. You're gorgeous. Did you have any gender disappointment? Let's see what she says. As if she's going to tell it. No, no disappointment. I was just shocked because I felt it was a girl. That's because you were wishing it was a girl. It's a very exciting surprise. Yeah, my ass it is. Alexandra Rodriguez, you didn't seem surprised. You seemed disappointed. I know he will be loved. I really thought it was a girl too. Seemed? She knew it before. What are you talking about? Please stop. Fucking idiot. Um, she already knew the gender that's why she wasn't surprised so you're reading into it too much no we're not so curious to find out the blood work was accurate you can look it up but apparently blood work for a baby dna is harder to be accurately accurately get uh, on a higher bmi mums particularly boy results still very successful rate but just lower than normal bmi mums uh, does Yano should we tell? Doesn't look like Yano's anything at this point. Bacon air, bacon in air fryer, game changer. All the oils drain away from the bacon, but she wants those oils. Blind and heart, she wants those oils to use for the um, for the the trays. Fucking disgusting. Hey Alex, could you explain your free people obsession? Like to know what draws you to this style. Thank you. I've been wondering the same thing. If I remember correctly, and I could be completely wrong, but didn't she say free people aren't plus size friendly? Yes, she did. I think it was them. And I know they are overpriced. So where is she getting her references for dupes when it comes for free people clothing? It's not, sorry, if she's not wearing their products, then how does she know they are dupes? Well, she is wearing, she's got one item and she's probably seen the other clothes and what they look like. And they are definitely not free Free to the people. I purchase clothing item. I purchase a clothing item because I like it, not because I'm looking for a dupe exactly of any other brand. Maybe because she just likes the vibe of the clothing. Oh, fuck off. Now they're starting to talk like her vibe. Isn't that the point of finding dupes? Clothes that you like but can't afford but want to pay for, small or big. It's because it's trending on TikTok. And that is a mic drop right here. <laughs> it's trending on TikTok. That toy basket is so cute. You're a fucking idiot. Toy bin is adorable. At any body size, I'm blown away when women hold their stomach and you can't even tell they're pregnant. Is it a baby or food baby? We don't know unless we're risking insulting someone. Why can't we just be happy for other women? How about you can go and fuck yourself? Just because she's a woman, it doesn't mean we have to all stick together. Sorry, I don't believe in that bullshit. If you're a bitch, I'm going to call you out as a bitch. And that's exactly what Alexandra is. I could never put myself online. I couldn't handle random strangers telling me what to do in my life. I guess this, the paycheck is worth it. But damn. I'm glad she does because I love watching. But yes, people are too nitpicky and annoying. Oh, and Alexandra isn't. I feel angry for her. It's hard some days, but I truly love creating content and chatting with nice people. When do you chat with nice people, you fucking lying cunt? When do you chat with nice people? You don't chat with anybody. You don't comment with anybody. You just sit there deleting all your negative comments. I was on her, um, oh, what do you call it? Instagram today. Oh, excuse me. I was on her Instagram today and she's left all the comments up about people replying saying can you be just be nice can you just be nice that's all you see is people saying can you just be nice but she has deleted all the negative comments all of them she doesn't left not one on um and she doesn't comment to anyone else on there 
Uh, I had super weird detailed dreams when I was pregnant. You may not start showing in your first trimester. When will you look pregnant? You may not start showing in your first trimester, but your body is going through changes during this time. Your baby is still forming inside of you. Why you may feel different, your body may not look different. Um, you're t telling her something that she should already fucking know. Typically, your bump becomes noticeable during your second trimester between 16 and 20 weeks. Gosh, she's even annoying me, that one. <laughs> okay. Um, what bump? Exactly. I would suggest next time have the silicon tray already on the pan. That's what I said. I would have done the same thing and spilled the eggs everywhere. Well, you're just an idiot beauty with Lily. Um, just curious. Why put the broken eggshells back in the cupboard egg container? Did she? Did she really? I'd be so worried about the good old salmonella. Do you know the eggshells? Eggshells. Oh, sorry. Do you throw the eggshells away when you are cleaning up? Or are the said broken eggshells still in the container in the fridge? Gee, I didn't even notice that. You'd be surprised how many people do this and they'll leave them in the carton. Oh my God. I have never, ever heard of anyone doing that. They go straight in the bin when I use an egg. Really? My hubby does this and I find it so weird. <laughs> Divorce him. That's weird. Also, on her Instagram today, she had placed a, um, oh, where's my phone? Hang on. She'd placed, I don't know if it's going to still be there. She'd placed this sarcastic thing about, um, hang on. Let me just look her up. Oh, here we go. If you are happy, you will really bother unhappy people. If you are happy, you will really bother unhappy people. No, you're, you're not bothering us because you're happy. I couldn't care less whether you're upset or whether you're happy. Couldn't give a rat's ass. What pisses me off is you're fucking lying, Alexandra. That's what pisses us off. Can't, it, can't even tell she's pregnant. Nope, you can't. Why you feel... Look at this fucking bitch. The real landed. She has come to every comment to try and... What even is that fucking picture? I have to look at it. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, I love it when they um, comment on every f every fucking... Um, you know, they try and come to her rescue with every one. This bitch has done it with every single fucking one. All right, let's see what we're up to. Look at this one. Oh my god, one of my subscribers must have done that. <laughs> you guys are fucking hilarious. Priscilla P apologizes to Alex and her community tab. Go check it out, guys. Oh, okay. I know exactly why that was done. Thank you for whoever that is. I, I can imagine that's not your real name. And whoever it is, I thank you. I know exactly why that's done because of what I put in my community tab section. They wanted all her fans to go and read it, all her stands. Okay. I missed that one. How did I miss that before? Oh, it's because I was scrolling too fast. Oh, that was funny. Nine hours ago. Uh, 13 likes. Um... I think it would be very strange not to acknowledge your pregnancy and be excited on your channel. In order to cater to a certain percent of your audience, healthy, normal people that enjoy your content should be excited for you. We are, but she's a fucking lion heifer. Uh, not we are excited. We we, um, we do acknowledge that she's pregnant, but we're not excited for her. Not excited for the baby anyway. Poor baby. Uh... I suggest the Dash Egg Bite Maker. Oh, God. Um, 
this is no, I love the idea of making the theme of baby boy's room These are boring, so I'm not reading them out. Uh, don't forget you will be given so many baby gifts. Her shirts are always too tight. <laughs> yes, they are. Why do you care, though? Because we have to look at them. That's why we care. Because no one wants to see. Why do you comment? Exactly. Good on you, Marissa. Why do you watch if you don't want to see? Because we like watching the train wreck. You know when it's a movie, it's a bad movie, but you start watching it and you want to see how it finishes? That's Alexandra. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sick of reading the egg bite comments. The pregnancy is going to change you so much, yeah, into more of a bitch. That's what it's going to change her into being. You are the sweetest ever. Oh my god, these people just can't see through her lies. This one can't go in person grocery shopping but can stop in home goods. TJ Maxx and Target. Such entitlement and selfishness. Every time she does grocery pickup or delivery, she takes a spot from truly disabled and elderly people. It's really not that serious. Go fuck yourself, Lucy. Girl, relax. Deep breather in and out. Reagan, go fuck yourself. Or she's keeping someone in a job. How about that? How about when she's complaining about what they're fucking choosing for her and she has to go do the returns? She's still keeping people in that job? When she's complaining about her grapes not being fucking crispy enough? She doesn't do anything at all. Why not walk and shop? Oh, never mind. She doesn't even walk Bruno. Exactly. How about every other time other person does a grocery pickup or a delivery, you are whacked? No, because they probably don't do it as much as her. And they're probably legitimately busy and can't go in and do shopping. This heifer does nothing every single day. Now I know you're trolling. At 15 weeks, the fetus is the size of an apple. That belly is all you know it is. Why must you lie? Hang on. That belly is all you and you know it. Uh, oh, is all you and you know it. Why must you lie? You're trolling. If you don't like her content, don't watch. Go fuck yourself, Joy. Living inside your mind must be a really sad place. I'm sorry for your pain. I think it's pretty clear living in Alex's brain is a very dark, lonely, insane place. It's why she tries so hard to be aesthetic and have the perfect life. Yep, gilded cage and all that. I really enjoyed watching Diana in the pink. The shoes will be perfect. What's this one? Instead of limiting yourself to one purchase a week, just show us your favorite thing you purchased for him that week. That makes no sense. Instead of limiting yourself to one purchase a week, just show us your favorite thing you purchased for him that week. It's still She's still buying one a week. <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> actually no i don't look like you whatsoever even on my worst day M merci beaucoup good on you what's your secret and yet you don't share a profile picture on your account go fuck yourself j bell i'm 150 pounds on my worst day and i do not need oxygen or insulin unlike miss thriving fearless good on you She's really been copping it lately. Are you pregos? Where have you been? 
Mm. People are such haters, shaking my head. Hope you continue to enjoy your pregnancy and don't feel a bit of guilt for sharing. If it's too much for people, they can unsubscribe. I don't see anyone saying that anyone is annoyed because she's um, posting so much about a pregnancy. It's touching a fucking belly that is not yet formed as a baby belly. That's what people are annoyed about. No one's telling her not to post content. We know this is going to be content. Oh, please. Oh, look at this. Priscilla something. Priscilla Rubicaval. Thank you for acknowledging your fellow TTC community. Priscilla, are you that fucking stupid? As if she really fucking meant anything she said. Finally. Oh, you're a lovely person. I'm so happy for you. You're a fucking idiot. Lark one. A baby of 15 weeks, 80 grams. Let that sink in. <laughs> I never laughed harder at a video than this one. What's so funny about it? What's so funny about it, Mona Lisa? And you certainly don't look like a Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa is that um, she certainly doesn't look pregnant. That's what's funny about it. It's fucking hilarious. She's trying to say she sees a baby bump and there's no bump to be seen. Bumps are not only determined by the size of the baby, the muscles in your... Oh, here we go. The muscles in your stomach separate to make room that pushes the organs up. Uh, yeah, we know that. But the muscles in your stomach don't um, give you the baby bump. It's the baby that gives you the baby bump. Why still who joy? Go fuck yourself. I will never understand why people find the time to watch videos. I need to talk down on you. But Karen... It sounds like, you, yeah, you're all fucking Karen. She is a skank and she's a liar. Oh, these people in the comment section are terrible sometimes. It's really above and above young and beauty. It's really horrible to hear the truth, isn't it? Yeah, but no one's complaining about the content. I haven't heard anyone say that they're actually complaining about the baby content. We're not complaining about that. We pick on things that she does like touching her fucking baby bump that doesn't exist. Also, this content is by far more interesting than the previous content. It is. So I would expect people are pleased and views are up. Actually, I see views look consistent, which surprises me. Because people are getting sick of it, that's why. Fucking entitled cow. The only reason she um, included that TTC journey, and I'm thinking of all you guys, was because she'd been watching my channel. That's the only fucking reason. She doesn't really give a shit about anyone who can't conceive, except herself. All right, guys, that's it for this one. So let's go into uh, this one. Let's pause that one. And do that one so this is nine months ago okay are they gone Ooh. okay oh there's you guys my gut did not leave me wrong on this one we just to the gym just had a breakfast a little Welcome back to a new vlog. Today is a Wednesday, which means it's lower body day at the gym. Mm. Just had breakfast a little while ago. I'm packing away. How's that been working out for you, Alexandra? You see so much of a difference? Way, what we didn't eat. I'm going to have a few more raspberries. These raspberries are so good. I've made them last a few days. Because normally I have no self-control with raspberries because they're so good. I just got my hair done yesterday, so it's still all fresh and blown out. You have no self-control with any type of food. Not just raspberries, love. And just nice and bright blonde. It survived pretty well through the first sleep. So on today's agenda, we're going to go to the gym. I finally got the label for my return. So I'm going to go to the post office and do a return. I have a Target pickup because there's like just a few groceries that we need. But I don't want to go inside because it's not a fun day. If you want to have fun, you shop in Target. If you just want to get what you need, you go to the drive up. Because again, she has, she just cannot say no. She can't stop herself with wanting anything. As soon as she wants something, including food, she can't say no. She has to buy it. 
Okay, that's how it works. And I don't know why, but I'm in the mood to make like lasagna for dinner. So I'm picking up the stuff to make lasagna at Target as well. Let's make a little coffee. Also known as um, 15 layers of cheese lasagna. Hey, I have been eating first because I guess you're not supposed to have caffeine on an empty stomach. It's like not good for you and your hormones or something. I'm not a doctor. You can Google it. But then again, really? Google's not a I thought you were a doctor. By looking at you, I would have sworn you were a doctor. Doctor either. This mm. is so chaotic. I just spilled ice everywhere. Cold brew. Oh, I've never smelled it on its own. It actually smells quite good. <laughs> there goes Bruno playing with the ice cube. Does anyone? Oh, he just took it. I love when they like take something and they think they just like were so sneaky about it. He's like, ooh, I just got this ice cube and I'm going to run away with You mean like you when you think that you said something and that we believe it? Yeah. It, it really is like so cute. And of course, today the coffee straw is washed. Delicious. Okay, here is my... Of course, today the coffee straw is washed. Opposed to your other ones that aren't washed? Is, it, is that what she's trying to say? Here's what I found. What the hell? Sorry, my... um. That's weird. Alexa just went off for no reason. What does she mean? It's been washed quick little gym makeup it's like not really makeup but kind of and i don't do this every time i go to the gym but sometimes just on the days i want to have well you can put it on because you don't sweat it off whereas if i go i don't have any makeup on because i am gonna sweat that shit off a little something on so i recently got this bare minerals complexion rescue it's a matte tinted moisturizer with spf 30 God, I got this shade. i've sped her up and she's still slow pf and i like that this is matte too it's not it feels like hydrating aggressive breathing and snorting okay and last thing lip balm meets gloss and that is the quick little gym makeup again i don't do it every day but some days i'm in the mood look at all that muscle lifting look at all that muscle can you can you see the definition here of the muscles yep and over here the muscle oh such muscle example mm. Her fucking knees are going in like, look at that. They're actually going in. They do look very, very similar. If she puts more weight on, her legs are going to look very similar to Anna O'Brien's. You know, Anna O'Brien had that, but she's got lymphedema, a lipedema. Um, this one's just going to be from actual her actual fat. It's going to push her knees in even more. Fuck. Fuck. horrible dish pods or whatever but there's more target pickups to be had thankfully um i got us more strawberries because we plowed through the ones from the other day let's see if they look good we plowed through you plowed through you mean they look gorgeous yay again you never know when you're picking up groceries um i got some ricotta cheese so go in and fucking get it yourself and stop complaining is for homemade lasagna tonight and i'm gonna make it with some ground turkey. I got a couple. The prices at Target on their meat is actually pretty good considering like all the inflation right now. So I got a couple lean ground turkeys and a you're going to fucking sit there and talk to us about inflation. You fucking heifer. You're going to talk to us about inflation with your consumerism that you buy. Big pack of, Ooh, this is so wet. Ew. Of chicken breast. This comes with one, two, three, four, five, six breasts. So we usually do like two breasts per meal. Um, depending if we're gonna have leftovers, 12 bucks. Like, I don't know. I know it's still pricey, but like pretty good for, that's not pricey. That's fucking excellent for that many. All this chicken. And then we needed more egg whites. You know what I've totally forgot about lately is my little egg bite recipe. I go through phases with things Ooh. and I just don't have lasagna noodles. Why am I like this? Okay, so looks like we're going back out later. I didn't do my Abercrombie return though. So <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I might do a second pickup, honestly, and get like the other things that I forgot. Why am I like this? But it's good though, because then I can take Bruno because I like to take him on a ride like once a day because he, he loves to go for rides. She likes to take him on a ride once a day. How about you take him for a walk, you fucking cunt? Take him for a walk. Take that poor dog for a walk. Let him get some exercise outside. You don't even let him fucking play in your backyard while you're inside filming. He's always inside with you. Fucking hell, that poor dog. Okay, let me put this away and then I want to open a couple packages I got that I'm really excited about because I ordered some really cute sandals and I'm just like praying. I will be the judge if her sandals are cute or not. <laughs> and I highly doubt it because I hate any of her shoes. 
that they fit. Okay, these have been like totally selling out. So I found the last pair in my size from a website I've never ordered from. What is it called? Staud, S-T-A-U-D. But these Birkenstocks are so cute. I don't think I've- I really hate them because I don't like Birkenstocks. <laughs> So I'm telling you now, I'm not gonna like them. I've ever owned a pair of actual Birkenstocks. I bought like dupes before, but I looked at these for like maybe a month. I just kept looking at them and having them in my car and then they sold out on DSW. And I was like so sad about it. I'm like, I think I really love these and wanna try them. So I'm so happy I found them on this website. I'll see if they have them anywhere so I can link them for you guys. Cause they're so cute. And I read a few people saying, if you get the standard, not the narrow, that they like accommodate a wide foot. And you guys know I'm kind of between standard and wide. No, 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 no. You're not between standard and wide. You're fucking wide. Just like the rest of your fucking body, wide. Right now, so I think we'll be good. <gasps> Oh my god, they're so cute. They're unlatched. Let me let me latch them so you can like get the actual real picture here. So they're kind of like this faux crocky looking leather with big gold buckles. Oh my gosh. I feel disgusting. like you could totally Already. dress these up or down. Like they're kind of elevated. There you go, dress them up and down. They are fucking horrendous. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Are these not the cutest shoes you've ever seen? No, they are fucking ugly. And I cannot tell you guys how much I hate this look. I hate that that faux crocodile, whatever fucking look it is. I just cannot stand it. In It's elevated because of the big no. buckle. No, nothing about that shoe is elevated. Nothing. And then the fabric of this like croc style texture. And then this gold here. I don't know why they just like really did something for me. I know that because you like ugly things and that's ugly. They're not everyone's cup of tea. You can totally make fun of me, but I'm obsessed. I'm going to totally make fun of you. With these, like I just, I love them. I love them. I feel like you could wear these with like jean shorts and a white tee or even like a cute like summery dress. It's the big gold buckles that take it up Ooh. to that level. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put them on the loosest. Uh, of course you are because your feet are fat like a heifer. That's why. And a fucking pig trotter. Actually, pig trotter is probably skinnier than yours. Little dot here, just just to, you know, hope for the best. Because <laughs> I'm scared. I hope they fit. I hope they're comfy. I feel like... My God. She has such a wide foot. And she's still saying she's in between sizes. That she's in between normal to wide. Birkenstocks, though, are fucking notorious for need. Delusional. Delusional. Needing to be broken in. Um, and since I've never had a real pair, I don't know. I've heard that's how it is for, like, Doc Martens and Burks. So... All right, let me take off my gym sneakers. I'm so nervous. Oh, I hope they fit. Ooh. Oh, they fit with some room. I might be able to even tighten these. Oh, okay. The left is, my left foot is more narrow than my right foot. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to tighten this one just by one. Is anyone else like that? One foot is wider or just bigger or smaller than the other. I feel like that's a thing, right? My right foot is a little bit thicker. Oh, there's, you guys. My gut did not lead me wrong on this one. These are so freaking cute. Oh my God. They are so ugly. Look at, oh my God. God, look at her face. They are so ugly. And they feel really comfy and they fit perfect. I just got my... Oh, I'm so sick of seeing her skin. Are you guys sick of seeing her skin? Oh. My usual 10. Are they not like so cute? No. Am I... They're fucking ugly. Just be me. But you know what? If you love something, you gotta go for it. You gotta go for it. And so are your fucking toes. Oh my God. God, you got ugly toes. Yes. These are officially my summer shoe and I can't wait to break them in. They feel fine now. I don't know if I'd want to walk in them all day, but they feel fine. So we'll break them in. <laughs> Guys, I'm obsessed. It's just like turn the morning around because I've been having like kind of an emotional morning for no reason. I also got a little PR from Pixie. Let's open this up. Because you're a fucking sport brat. That's why you have an emotional morning. Ooh, clarity blemish stickers. We need this. I'm like I love these. They were such a good price because um, I feel like you just can't have enough workout tops. But also, I feel like these. <laughs> you feel like she can't. She feels like she can't have enough workout tops. How much fucking workout tops does she have? Do you remember just in another video the other day? She was just, we were in her pantry. Uh, sorry, in her pantry, in her cupboard, and she was showing us all the workout clothes. Oh my god, she has a fucking shitload. I mean, I don't have to tell you guys. You guys watch with me. We watch together. How many fucking tops like this does she have? How many? could 100% be worn lounging around you do just wear them lounging around because you only go to the gym three days a week you fucking heifer you only go three days a week and you but you wear it every day you wear them every day and you lounge every day with them 
or just like on a casual day in the summer and look at this like really pretty blue like i would wear this with just like some shorts just chilling or just like with sweats that looks warm i don't know i feel like you could totally wear these beyond just the gym and then i got one in black as well i was like obsessed and the reviews were really good and i wanted to grab them before the way she talks about the gym anyone would expect her to have the most gorgeous fucking muscly slim figure the way she talks about going to the gym right they like ran out of stock and i also got this high neck pink workout top as well and then lastly i just grabbed a pair of these oh, these are so nice these flare leggings from all in motion and this really pretty blue i'm super into blue right now like a nice mini boot cut i like those pants they're nice flare really soft so these all had great reviews and i was just excited to grab some more work like workout tops but also tops that don't require a bra that i can like chill in yeah don't require a bra what about all your bra things that you suggest to us oh it's so good when you have a really good firming bra and a, a good bra that fits you and this this and that that's just part of your spiel because you're so fucking full of shit you never wear a bra you never wear a bra you never talk about loving to wear a bra unless you're sell trying to sell it to us you are not biting my shoe i swear bruno <laughs> and these shoes were a little bit pricey burks are pricey but like i feel like they last a really long time from what i hear from people guys I'm obsessed. Oh my god, they are so fucking ugly. Stop showing us. <laughs> Love them. All right, I am gonna whip us up some lunch. Her breathing. Because I got chicken, so I might make us a couple salads. Because I've got that big thing of spring mix. I also have some work stuff I need to film today, so I'm gonna like get glam, and I'll check back in with you guys after I am clean and showered. Okay, so I showered and just did some really light, simple makeup, and I didn't even go crazy with like powder and stuff. Very light coverage because I'm just gonna be pretty pink. I put on a little lip liner already. Just some. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Normally, you guys know I use Peachy Beige from Tarte. So I'm excited to see this color. I feel like I put on like a really soft, it's such a eyeshadow in this. So pretty, I love it. I'm really excited. So now, now we've got him because that's his happy place. Many hours later. Okay, I just got back from running errands with the dog. I did my return and my target pickup. With the dog, with the dog. I have never spoken to say anybody my sister my husband or whatever and i said i've gone here i bought the dog with me i say i bought sinatra with me the dog i don't refer to him as the dog i just needed a couple of things i needed the lasagna noodles and i forgot to get um dish pods for the you, dish she probably feels like she needs a fucking award because she's taken bruno i mean i say i call him bruno more than i'm the one that should be saying taking the dog She's taken Bruno with her in the car. She feels like she deserves a fucking award for taking him out of the house. Washer. Oh, and I went and picked up um, our favorite bread from the local bakery. <sighs> so we did it. We got him done. Our favorite bread. Not her favorite. Also, I got a separate Target pickup. Not pickup. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking about Target pickups. Remember how I did my little Target package earlier so i had got a separate one that came in a little after with these tanks so these are from ava and viv and these have built-in like shelf bras that are actually pretty good i did put on nippy covers um but like they look no different to any other top that she fucking puts on they have a decent little bit of support here like i'm not wearing a real bra so pretty good and they were really affordable. what's fucking you you never wear a real bra I think they were like 12, 12 or 18. Those are the two numbers that are coming in my head. But these had really good reviews and everyone was like, grab them before they're gone. Um, they didn't have all the colors I wanted in the store. More like, especially on like a tighter item. And then I'm wearing my favorite Halara pants. These wide, comfy, flowy pants and the new shoes. I hate those shoes. I don't mind the pants, but I hate the shoes. So this is my... And I hate the top. My little running errands outfit and I did my return. I don't remember if I said that, but we got a lot done. I don't hate the top in general. I hate the top on her. I really like this top. I feel like I'm going to be wearing like these. <laughs> she just heard me. Target tops a lot this summer. I'm just here for like the easy breezy comfort. Summer dress. What's fucking you? You always there for easy breezy. The whole of your winter, that's all you've dressed like. Like that. Or <laughs> like this. I do want to get more of these Lara pants. I am obsessed. Like they are just, they feel like a second skin. They're so comfortable. And like this outfit. Oh, this is pre um, thingo. This is pre ravioli. Her ravioli thing's not here. Her bit ravioli buzz. It feels like pajamas, but it's, you know, a little bit elevated. It's 4.30. Um, I am going to finish some work on the computer, and then we're going to cook our lasagna, because now I have what I need <laughs> to cook it. Okay, so I'm just going to start prepping the lasagna, so I thought we could do it together. This is the mixture I always disappointing. I never used the like spray oils on them. We never put them in the dishwasher. We followed all the rules and they like are stained. Things stick to them. 
it's very disappointing because these were pricey so i don't know i feel like i might be better off just like buying the amazon ones you know every six months and salt nice big pinch big pinch of oh that cheese oh and more cheese it's all fucking cheese. Like raw and they cook in the oven. I don't do a lot of layers of noodles because I no, can't. No, you have don't. Because hang on. Not having a lot of pasta for an hour on 350. These are the noodles that you can bake like raw and they cook in the oven. I don't do a lot of layers of noodles because I can't have a lot of pasta. So I she can't have a lot of pasta. This fucking hefe here is the one that made lasagna soup. She made the fucking lasagna soup. Remember? she can't have a pasta and she eats pasta every other fucking day she's trying to say she can't have a lot of pasta she is so fucking full of shit she just loves the cheese that goes in this that's why she wants to eat more of the cheese than the, the noodles she seriously thinks we're stupid and that we don't fucking remember anything i just do two layers so i'm not having a lot of pasta but more like the meat yeah sure i'm sure i'm sure that's why you do it yep sure jane and the cheese mixture mm. but yeah all right let's throw this bad boy in the oven and here she is so after 55 minutes i took off the aluminum foil and then i broiled it on high for another five minutes and that's what gets it nice and crispy watch it though when you're doing the broil depends how like close it is i had my she is so out of breath freaking out right now because we just just hit 500,000 subscribers. Oh, fucking spam. And we hit 500. Guys, like to my if you guys have cuz people like watching a train wreck. That's why you hit 500,000 subscribers. Like stuck around and been here with me through so much over the last 12 years. I've been doing YouTube since 2011. It all started with just like some outfit of the days and plus size fashion and it evolved into so much more and through every stage of YouTube and I've turned into such a fucking bitch it's been such a joy to have this as a job like and a compulsive liar there's ups and downs of course like with everything but at the end of the day i'm so grateful to have each and you should be fucking grateful you ungrateful heifer you should be grateful you should be grateful not like your insincere post about the tcc people uh, uh, i'm just i'm thinking of you all my heart goes out to you all you're full of fucking shit i will say it again the only reason you said that to the ttc people is because you've watched my channel and every one of you like supporting me and standing by me and like thank you for watching thank you for making this my job like i will be forever grateful that this is my job and it's because of you my heart's very full <laughs> i feel yep don't ever forget that don't ever forget it's because of your followers you know the ones that you don't reply to yeah those ones well, i'm very happy this is a big milestone for me um and just i love you guys so much i'm so grateful uh as i've mentioned i am like filming like a special project um in like a week or two that's going to go up in july to kind of like commemorate hitting half a million it's just something really different for me and really exciting and i'm really nervous but really excited and i can't wait to like show you guys how that all unfolds and i'm gonna be doing a 500k giveaway too um probably in the next vlog she waits until she gets 500k views to do one giveaway because the heifer wants to keep everything everything for herself she gets so much pr so much makeup there's so much that she probably doesn't even show us so many other youtubers and people that are makeup artists and stuff they constantly do giveaways constantly not that i need anything i don't want anything especially from this heifer but it would be nice to give back to some of your viewers you know she's she's such a fucking tight ass she's such a me 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 all about me she waits till she gets she is she not embarrassed to say that she's got to wait till she gets 500k um subscribers to do a fucking giveaway so stay tuned for that i gotta get everything ready for you guys like this kind of snuck up on me just because i've been like really busy but wow it just it feels so crazy to see that five <laughs> and i'm just very 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 grateful thank sure you guys you i don't know this was like the right spot to end this vlog it was just gonna be a daily vlog today anyway i'm trying to do a lot of daily vlogs so when i'm filming my special little project you guys have con all right guys i can't stand this heifer anymore <laughs> for today that's enough of it all right my loves comment below um, thank you all again for all your support. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. And um, I appreciate all your comments. I love interacting with you guys. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to. And I do appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.